Hi, I'm Bree, and I'm doing Japanese American cooking stuff for a push project. So yeah, okay. So I have chicken ready here that we're going to put in for the traditional uh, lo mein pork, or not lo mein, sorry, udon course. So I'm going to put that in here right now to prevent, you know, salmonella and bad things from happening to people because, you know, that's that's not fun. Okay, that's done. Okay, so now that we got that started, we're going to work on our Weenie Royale course, which is actually a dish that was done in internment camps for um, Japanese Americans who were stationed in these places because um, essentially this is what the U.S. had to offer them and they had to work with whatever they gave them. Um, so the stuff that's in this meal is rice, eggs, hot dogs, um, soy sauce, and then yellow onion. And so right now what I'm doing is cutting up the hot dog to get ready to throw in the pan when we get to that part. So now that that's done, we're going to go transition over to our rice, which I already started, so it should be done now. Yeah, I did all the meal prep for the video because I wasn't even going to deal with you guys seeing that mess. So we're going to go strain the rice. We're just going to do this the old-fashioned way. And I'm going to try not to burn myself. So now that our rice is done, Sorry, I gotta stir the chicken. I was trying to stick to the bottom of the pan. That's not good. I'm gonna throw some sesame oil in there to fix that problem. Okay, so now that the rice is done, we're gonna take a fork and we're going to puff it up a little bit so that way we can mix it up with the egg so that way we can kind of get the rice stir fry going that we need for the weenie royale. So this started in internment camps as like cafeteria style food because the Americans couldn't really let them keep their traditions once they moved into the internment camps. They didn't like um, their formal original um, eating design. So they got rid of that and took that away from them. So then all they were left with, um, which bothered the Issei, which was the first generation of Japanese immigrants to the U.S. Um, was the fact that they couldn't keep those traditions. So that's why the food was kind of cafeteria style like this and it's really weird and I'm not going to make any of you eat it. That's why I'm making it now so you guys don't have to suffer because it's probably not the yummiest thing in the world. So right now what I'm doing is I'm mixing the eggs and the rice together to kind of get that stir fry effect. Which is what you need to. Well, it's kind of what it's going to do is it's going to scramble the eggs with the rice a little bit, and you need that help to build, help build the flavor. And it's kind of a traditional thing, and it's one of the things they try to keep in their food, so that way they kind of had that a little bit of tradition left that the Americans had prior had prior taken away from them. So that's why we're doing that part. So now that that's all stirred together and everything. We're going to put this over here, and if you want, you can put the hot dogs in, in this step, or you can take it straight to a pan, and you can mix it another way. After you get that stuff done, what you're going to do is you're going to take 